Have you ever stepped into an attic during summer and felt like you just walked into an oven? Or maybe you've noticed your roof struggling in the winter with mysterious ice dams forming? Well, the culprit might just be something as simple, but surprisingly essential, as attic ventilation. It's one of those parts of a home that's rarely seen and even more rarely thought about, yet it quietly plays a huge role in maintaining comfort, energy efficiency, and even the structural health of the building. In today's video, we're diving into the world above our ceilings, the attic, and discovering how proper ventilation systems work. Why does air need to flow up there? What kinds of vents are used? And what happens when things go wrong? So whether you're a homeowner, a DIY enthusiast, or just curious about what keeps your house breathing, stick around as we unpack how attic ventilation systems work right here on History of Simple Things. To understand attic ventilation, we first need to grasp why it's even necessary. At its core, attic ventilation is all about balance, allowing fresh air to enter while letting stale, hot, or moist air exit. This balance prevents a range of issues, both in summer and winter. During hot months, the sun beats down on your roof all day, heating up the attic space. If this heat becomes trapped, it can reach temperatures well above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. This doesn't just make your home warmer and more uncomfortable, but it also forces your air conditioner to work overtime. And over time, that can wear out roofing materials and shorten their lifespan. In the colder seasons, things get even trickier. Warm, moist air from inside the house can rise into the attic. If it has nowhere to go, that moisture can condense on the cold underside of the roof, leading to mold growth, wood rot, and insulation damage. In snowy regions, this can cause ice dams, those stubborn ridges of ice along the roof that block proper drainage and can lead to leaks. So attic ventilation isn't just a bonus feature, it's a fundamental part of keeping your home healthy year-round. Now, how does attic ventilation actually work? It's all about airflow. A proper attic ventilation system includes two key types of vents, intake vents and exhaust vents. Intake vents let fresh, cooler air enter the attic, usually from the lower portion of the roof, often at the soffits, which are the undersides of the eaves. Exhaust vents, on the other hand, allow hot or moist air to escape, typically from higher up on the roof near or at the ridge. This system operates on a simple concept, convection. Warm air naturally rises. As the warm, stale air exits through the upper vents, it creates a slight vacuum that draws cooler air in through the intake vents below. This continuous cycle helps regulate attic temperature and moisture without any need for electricity, just the power of nature. Some systems may also use mechanical ventilation like fans to give airflow a boost, especially in larger homes or in places with extreme climates. But even without those extras, a passive attic ventilation system can be incredibly effective when designed and installed correctly. Let's take a closer look at the different types of vents used in attic ventilation systems. Soffit vents. These are some of the most common intake vents. Located under the eaves of the roof, they allow cool air to enter the attic from below. They're usually made of perforated aluminum or vinyl and come in long strips or small grills spaced evenly across the soffits. When paired with good exhaust vents, soffit vents create a smooth airflow path from low to high. Gable vents, found on the side walls of the attic, usually in the triangular area known as the gable, these vents can serve as either intake or exhaust, depending on wind direction and attic layout. They're less commonly used today in modern homes, but still seen in many older buildings. Ridge vents. These are perhaps the most efficient and discrete types of exhaust vents. Installed along the peak of the roof, 
ridge vents run the entire length of the ridge line and allow warm air to escape evenly from the highest point. When combined with soffit vents, they create one of the most balanced systems. Roof vents or box vents, also known as static vents, these are individual units installed near the roof's peak. They don't move air mechanically, but rely on natural convection to expel heat. They're a good solution when ridge vents aren't possible. Powered attic fans. These are electric or solar powered fans that actively pull air out of the attic. While effective, they need careful installation to avoid pulling air from the living space if intake vents are inadequate. Each home might use one or a combination of these depending on roof design and climate. So, how can you tell if your attic ventilation isn't doing what it's supposed to? There are a few signs that something might be off. For starters, if your upstairs rooms feel unbearably hot during the summer, that's often a clue that your attic is trapping heat instead of letting it escape. In the winter, you might notice ice dams forming along the edge of your roof. This happens when warm attic air melts snow that then refreezes at the colder eaves, causing a backup of ice. Another red flag is a musty smell or visible mold in the attic, which suggests that moisture is getting in and can't get out. You might also see insulation that's damp or sagging, which is a sign of condensation collecting in the wrong places. And if your roof shingles look warped or are deteriorating faster than expected, excessive attic heat might be to blame. All of these issues are often caused by poor airflow. Sometimes, it's just a matter of vents being blocked by insulation or clogged with debris. Taking a closer look and making small adjustments can often restore proper ventilation and prevent bigger problems down the line. Modern attic ventilation systems have come a long way, with new features making airflow more efficient and smarter than ever. One popular innovation is solar-powered attic fans, which help pull hot air out of the attic during the day using energy from the sun. These fans are not only effective, but also eco-friendly and cost-saving in the long run. Some systems even include smart sensors that monitor attic temperature and humidity, sending alerts to your phone if something's not right. These sensors are especially handy in newer, tightly sealed homes where maintaining the right environment is critical. If you're thinking about improving your attic ventilation, there are a few easy things you can do. Make sure your soffit vents aren't blocked by insulation and keep insulation and ventilation separate. They each play a role but shouldn't interfere with each other. Sealing air leaks between your home and attic can also help prevent moisture problems. And when in doubt, it's a good idea to consult a roofing expert or home inspector who can recommend the right vent setup based on your climate and roof design. Good attic ventilation might not be flashy, but it's one of those simple things that really matters. And there you have it, the surprisingly important and surprisingly interesting world of attic ventilation. It's not just about air, it's about balance, comfort, and keeping your home in good shape for years to come. From soffit vents to ridge vents, from summer heat to winter chills, these systems quietly defend your house from a range of problems, often without anyone noticing. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.